Hello everyone, uh, this is Hadi, co-founder of Trades AI. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to take the Trades AI signals when you receive them. Uh, note that if you have the Trades AI Elite Premium Indicator on TradingView, it will also make things way easier for you to visualize on the charts, but also gives you much more unlimited trade setups on any time frame and any asset you'd like. First, to get access, you'll need to head to our website, tradesai.com, and pick one of the subscription plans available. Those include the indicator, the VIP signals, and in the future, we're doing auto trading bots. So our plans can uh, allow you to pick one or a mix of those. Once you've paid for the subscription, you'll receive a welcome email with instructions on how to get started. Uh, make sure you check your junk or spam folder as sometimes our messages land there and make sure to mark any email you receive from us as a safe sender or safe to receive future communications from TradesAI. If for any reason you still haven't received access to our VIP signals group on Telegram after you've paid for your subscription, please reach out to us by emailing support at tradesai.com with your order ID uh, or feel free to DM any of our telegram admins or you can also use our discord uh, server you can join our discord server and we also have a wonderful community of successful traders there as well as our support team one thing to keep in mind is you can execute these signals that we send on any broker exchange or interface so whether using let's say for crypto Binance Bybit Bingx uh, or using something like MT4 MT5 for uh, your trading or trade locker for this video i'll use trade locker platform as it has super powerful web-based and mobile features uh, works amazingly with many prop firms or funded account firms and most importantly has a very strong risk management functionality which is helpful for any trader as you'll see in this video okay so here we have uh, the signal that came on telegram so this is how it looks like when you, when you receive it. This is from the VIP channel, cryptocurrencies VIP channel. So it's a Solana signal. Uh, when you look at the signal, you have the symbol in here in caps. So this one in here, the second line is a symbol and it tells you whether it's a long buy or short sell. And this first line in here is the name of the symbol. In this case, it's S-O-L-U-S-D-T, perpetual contract. If it was gold, you would see gold. If it was gold futures, you would see gold futures. So keep in mind, you make sure you get the right symbol that you're trading, and then you will need to look for that symbol in trading view or on your broker interface to make sure that you're using the same chart that the signals are coming from. Now the signal has an entry zone, a stop loss, and take profits. So this is where you would enter. This is the zone between this number and this number. So it's like a box between these two numbers. This is your entry zone. This is your stop loss where you need to exit. Now, whether you do a stop loss of touching it or you wait for a close or a hard close beyond that uh, level, it's uh, totally up to you for your risk management. But by default, you could put it as just a uh, stop loss on touch and we'll just close the position for you. And finally, you have take profit levels and the VIP we give usually eight take profit levels. This is the chart in here. I'm in replay mode so you can see uh, the signal came at 1.30 p.m. now uh, EST Toronto time. Now we have, it's it's 3.30 almost p.m. So this is two hours ago. So I replayed here to the same time frame, the same uh, timestamp, which is 3.30. So the next candle in here, that's the signal that came at 1.30, as you can see. So the entry level is 194.904, 193.5. 591 so it's this box in here from here to here again if you have the indicator you'll be able to have those visualized in front of you so this is why it's it's helpful to get both the bundle the elite bundle which contains the signals and the indicator okay so this is this is how the signal looks like this is the box from here to here so this is your entry and this is your stop loss which matches the number in here 192 as you can see 192286 and you have the targets which are these ones so what i'll do is i'll switch to trade locker and execute these uh the signal the entry and the stop loss and the take profit i'll go to trade locker in here so this is my trade locker interface and what i'll do is i'll i'll use the risk calculator risk management calculator which is the powerful tool that allows you to easily calculate lot sizes etc based on your risk you want to take so i'll switch to a pending order i don't want to place a market order i'm, play, I'm placing a pending order and I'll click on the risk icon in here and activate the TP and the stop loss. So this is how it looks like. And then I'll click this R in here to open the calculator. And 
I'll simply type in the same numbers I see in the signal. So here you have um, the ability to define how much loss you want this position to incur if it hits stop loss. So you can have it in a dollar uh, value. Let's say I want to risk $200 of my account. And you will notice it will auto calculate the lot size or how much the position size for this position. Um, alternatively, if you don't have this tool, then you will need to manually look at how much risk you want to risk per position. If that's, let's say $200 per position, you want to calculate how much ratio that is of your total account. And then you want to do some calculation. There are some risk calculators out there online, or um, you can basically divide your total balance over the amount of risk ratio that you're taking out of your total balance, and then go from there to define the size of the um, of the position or, or uh, where you'd like to put your stop loss. But generally speaking, you take the signal as it is from Telegram. You put how much you want to risk in here so let's say $200 and then based on that you can move your stop loss to wherever you want and it will adjust the lot size accordingly so no matter where I put my stop loss I'm not gonna lose more than $200 this is how powerful this uh, small calculator is it really gives you peace of mind uh, you can easily execute the signals coming from trade AI easily so again let's take the numbers from the signal I'll switch back in here so these are the numbers, 194.904 for the entry. So I move the entry to 194 from here. I'll just type it in here. Just for simplicity, I'll put it 194. For the stop loss, we have 192.2. So I'm going to put it at 192.2. There you go, from here. Okay, that's a stop loss. And take profits. I have a bunch. You can go for any of them. You can go for one, two, three, four, four, any of them. Usually, you can go for three or four if you want to be in the middle. So I'll just put it at four for now. 196.9. 196.9 from here. 196.9. And that's it. I have my signal. Now, I'm executing a bit late because this is like two hours after the signal came. It already went and hit the, from here. It already hit the input, the target, the entry, and then went to the TP. But just for demonstration purposes, I wanted to show you how, um, how it works. Okay. So as you can see in here, it basically, the signal came in here. This candle, it hit the price and then it already went to the TPs. That's how you would execute the signal. You'll just execute buy, and this is a pending order, which means you'll forget it, and then it will just, um, whenever price hits the entry, it will execute, and whenever it goes to the TP, it will close, or to the asset stop loss, it will close on its own. Now, one common question we get is, do we execute the signals as limit orders or market orders, or what if the price is already, uh, the move is done, uh, you went, you came to the signal and it's already after like say half an hour, one hour, two hours, you're a bit late. Uh, it depends on your strategy. You can use the signals as uh, pending orders, which means as soon as they appear, you put your order and forget it. Or you could do momentum trading, which means uh, you don't, you wouldn't need to hit the level exactly. You can enter somewhere near it. So if we're still within the range, so this is, this is, let's say this is the entry from here to, and the stop loss is here. So this is the range. So if we're still within near the price, we could do market order, even if we're not exactly at the entry. So as momentum trading, because sometimes price doesn't even touch exactly this, the, the entry. It just like comes close to it and then moves away. So it, it, again, it depends on your strategy and your risk management, but that's also totally valid. So whenever you see the signal come in and price is still near it, you can hit it and uh, go for the take profits. Also, another point to make is that our signals, sometimes they give you one entry, one touch, which means whenever they're executed and they move to the TP, they're done. And in most cases, you could take them more than once. So two or three times even. Again, it depends on your strategy, depends on the bigger picture of the chart. So make sure you check other time frames here we're on the 15 minute because by default signals that don't have time frame mentioned in them they're on 15 minute but always make sure you switch to the one hour the four hour the daily like make sure you, you see the bigger context of, of of the asset before you execute any signals now in case you don't have a risk calculator to easily calculate the lot size or position size for you based on your stop loss um, an easy way to do it is using the ruler tool on trading view so click on the ruler the measurement tool 
and then measure the distance between the entry line and the stop loss. So here we have the entry, the first entry is this, and this is the stop loss. And by the way, uh, although the signal gives you two entries, you can enter at the beginning, you can enter at the end, or you can enter in the middle between them, so it's totally up to you. Um, we always try to enter at the beginning to make sure we get uh, we get the, the entry uh, for the signal. So let's say we take the 194 as an entry and the stop loss is 192 for simplicity. 194 to 192, so it's split from here to here. Okay, so the measurement tool says it's around one point, let's say 1.3, 1.36 or 1.4 for simplicity. That's the, the, the ratio between the entry and the stop loss. So if I enter with my full balance with no leverage on this position, this means I'll lose, if the, the stop loss is hit and the entry is here, I'll lose 1.36% of my total balance because I'm entering with a full balance. Now, if I don't want to lose that, let's say I want to lose half of that in, in this position, I would enter with half of my balance, just for simplicity, for the sake of example. So you need to define how much you want to lose per position. Rule of thumb, usually one to two to three percent risk of total balance per position. So you need to adjust your position size or lot size according to this formula. Now, if you are using leverage trading, that's a different calculation. Obviously, you need to make sure that your uh, uh, that number multiplied by the leverage is still not going to make you lose more than this. Uh, or simply, if you're using isolated margin, just make sure that your liquidation price after you pick your leverage and you pick your position size, your liquidation price for that position is not before. The stop loss of the signal so that you know it, it gives you enough room to go um, and hit the stop loss so you don't want to enter a position sizing which will uh, and leverage which is um, will be hit before the stop loss again it depends on on your risk profile but usually you need to uh, make sure that you do the calculation properly and there's a lot of resources online on how to calculate leverage uh, or uh, define leverage or position size according to your risk uh, ratio, but always use the ruler tool on trading view to measure the distance between your entry and your stop loss and that's the ratio of loss that you will incur of whatever margin you put in this position. So if I put 1% margin in this position of my total balance, I lose 1.36% of that 1%. So that's how this works.